Once again for the fifth year we came in to open the Balsta River. This fantastic river on the west coast of Norway. Bolsta, which is the lower part of the Vosso system, used to have among the biggest fish in Norway, or in the world actually. 40, 50, 60 and even 70 pounds fish were caught regularly. Bolsta and Vosso was hardly run by the devastating fish farming industry. The narrow fjord, long and narrow fjord filled up with open uh, pen fish farms and the massive sea lice explosion killed the smolts and the stocks would probably have gone extinct totally without the genetic bank and the hatchery program. Today, the stocks are slowly on their way up. We hope that Bolsta will recover but the fjord and the problem is still there. The fjord is full of open farms. This needs to be changed fast. The industry needs to take responsibility for nature and ecosystems and move into closed containments. And it needs to happen now. Here we have the ooze and the tail Tailad from the Evanger Lake coming into Usalda. I caught a few fish right here actually. And uh, the tail is really nice, but it's a bit fast now. Everything is fast. Even though, though we dropped what some 200 cubic meters a second, we we're down on almost half when we started. When we came in there was a warm rain on the snow. Snowpack was like three, four meters. Uh, and um, today it's gonna melt some, but it was a pretty cool night. Here comes the train. Fishing Bolsta, you have to get used to the train. And down there, you have Shalo, one of my favorite pools, really nice, big, fast, but not that deep. This year, there were plenty of water and perfect condition, and fishing was better than last couple of years. Unfortunately, because of hard drive problems, I lost some of the films I took. Well, I'd be, I'm not going to swear now, I've been swearing enough uh, for this, I promise you. And I have to excuse you for showing some old films in this clip. We just needed to fill up with a little bit of scenery from previous years. You can land it on the <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Citizen. Nice landing, <laughs> no problem. Oh! Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. 
Toronto. It's a wild fish. A wild fish? Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, so it's good, though. It's my first fish from Ulsan. Or oh, now I'm second, sorry. Little female. Now we need some scales. Mikey. Here you go. You take the plier, it's okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Let's see how big it is. What do you think? It's not very big. And so a little bit less than the one I got. We are up to 79. Yeah, this is 70... 77. Yeah. Female. We'll walk him out here. That's not okay, little salmon. Yeah. It's okay. I can only lose one. No lies. No lies. I'm going to get a few pills on my sex. Yes, precisely. It's cold in the water. The cold water makes it easier to release them. Sometimes I try to just let them be. Oh, I swear. Very soon. Nice. <laughs> Third one today. Yeah. It's a good way. Good way. Good day in Norway. <laughs> good day anywhere. Good. <laughs> the fish uh, 850, three quarter, and the biggest thing today. It's not very delicate. But, uh, Look, a lot of line. And a lot of grass. <laughs> I hate to be in the grass. This happens all the time. Gonna be gonna happen again and again. It was really good to, to once again fish with Ariel Blomfeldt, my old companion. We fished many, many years on many rivers all around. Ariel is one of Scandinavia's absolutely best salmon painting artists and also a very, very good fisherman. I'm really... Hey, we find Ariel, he's wet. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit wet. <laughs> so Ariel, we've been... Uh, it's better conditions now, huh? Ah, so, more or less, more or less, it passes well. Lower water. Bit but, too uh, much sun. Problem with the trees. Uh -huh. yeah. Casting, but it's uh, okay. I think you're too old. Yeah. <laughs> no, the rapid is to hit perfect. Yeah. So why don't you catch one? You see that? Middle of the day, just in the sun. It's not, not okay. <laughs> okay. But it's cold. It's possible. Seven degrees. Huh? No. 
So, catch one and then gin and tonics. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Acelo, uh, very high and a bit difficult. I lost the fish right outside these trees here. And you can imagine the battle if it's going down here. It's just fast, long run. And uh, is it impossible? Maybe, but it would be great fun. And uh, it was a good pull, but it didn't stay on. But I was prepared. I was prepared to run. To fish a back eddy, I mean, where the water goes the wrong way, it's a bit odd. But here, the back eddy creates a very, very good pool. A perfect place for the fish to stop before they run the rapids. And this place actually this year gave me two great fish over 20 pounds in just one hour. The fish don't know they have the head against the fjord. Again, we need to think about what happened in underwater. Where the lives are, how the fish behave, and of course the fly and how it's presented. Go for it. Now we will send first. Now I'm out there. There's a lot of line already. I've been running down here before, I don't want to do it again. You see, look, it's all the way down there. Yeah. I'm not going to go up there. Yeah, but there is a store. Where are you? Where are you? You go down up. I'm walking up here. Not that big. Nej, uh, the heavy current. Fool me. I saw that there and hit the Thank you. Ja, ah, fin blank fisk da. Silver. Nice fish. Not so big, but uh, very nice. Six, kanskje? Six? Eight kilos. Huh? Eight. Ja, maybe. Vi 
nightmare. It's been in some time. Yeah. You can see it's a fish that's been there maybe two weeks or so. And he's right in the corner. Ninety-five. Uh -huh. She's ninety-five. Mm. Very nice fight. <laughs> they go out in the fast water and, yeah. and uh, they turn the side. If it's this side, this size of fish, there are no chance. It's just to, uh, to try to hang on. Good condition. We need to take some scales. I normally put the scales in my cap. It's a good place to keep some skin samples. Okay. Sea lice now? Yes. You see? It's full of small sea lice. Yeah. You see? Full of sea lice. Yeah. Without, without tails. Yes. I see. Okay. Yeah. We let it go. Yeah. Who wants to go? Back to Bolsta to uh, spawn. Yep. Very nice. I always, I almost gave up on this. We've been fishing like a day and a half. No, nothing seen. No, no uh, contacts and uh, suddenly it's right there. But it also shows how important it is to believe in what you do. And I know that stone there, and I just put out seven, eight meters of line be uh, behind the stone, outside the stone. And then I, uh, instead of just wanting to cast and get down to the tail, I just put it there and I pulled twice and he just, she, she just nailed it. <laughs> so, very good. Han går ner nu. Jag måste hjälpa Aril, okej? Okay? Rånga Erland. The old man still knows how to do it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this on the film. The fish is right down in the waves. Maybe it's uh, coming up on yeah, this yeah, side, Michael. Come on, come on. Yeah, now you're going down. Yeah, are you down? No, 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 don't break him up. There he is, right in the tail. Didn't look that big, or? No, it's very strong down here. Yeah, 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 but maybe you have a chance. Fan, hur mycket lina andra ute? Ja, jag har blivit långt fan och är på backen. Ja. Har du skjutlina på rullen nu? Nej, inte helt. Nej, men du har skjutlina på rullen? Ja. Ja, men då så. Good, we're back on the shooting line. It was 100 meters backing out there. Ja, skjutlina är 40 meter och då, 40 centimeter. It was bloody good I told you to go there. <laughs> ja, ja, ja. Otherwise I would have been there. Don't break him off for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming up. I think it will manage. Absolutely fresh. Super nice.
Playing who? <laughs> who is playing who? Sitter perfekt. Ja, en sån jag fick. Ja. Ta ner den nu så ja. blir det Slapp ut lite lina, det var så helvete att slita lina. Det var catch and release. Catch and release. Vi var holding it. Vi rökte sen. Probably my fault. <laughs> well. These opening days in the end of June, the water was pretty high, it was pretty cold, and the tactics needed to be to fish deep and slow with the big fly. Not on the bottom, but you needed to go down in the middle section of the river and to do that on such a big, fast and powerful river you needed really, really heavy tackle. My best flies this year was, as before on this river, black and green. On Bolsta, the, uh, the green samurai skin given me most fish through the years, but this year it was the black green helmet, big ones. 12, 15 centimeters, then gave me my fish. Three days, six good fish landed, good fishing for Norway. So we're here with Knut Torvey. Hello. And uh, the opening days of 2020 season is over with a few fish landed, some good fish. Uh, what do you think about it, Knut? It uh, was uh, exciting as every year. We were, uh, of course, last year we had um, uh, an okay year, better than the 
the year before that uh, with 50 small salmons but still and now we have had uh, uh, four the first day and totally of uh, of uh, Eight fish, I eight think. fish. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's a warm, hard to think. Eight fish in a big river, like 500 cubic of water per yeah. second. We had the first day. Yeah. It has been a little lower the next uh, two days, but still a lot of water yeah. and cold, eight degrees. So I had to fish uh, deep, and it's uh, hard when it's uh, so much water. But still, I think it's a good, nice fish. Um, can we say something about the size? Uh, we were d mostly catching three winter fish, right? Uh, fish around uh, eight to ten kilos, they are three winter in sea. Yeah. But you were supposed to have more two winter fish this year, isn't that right? That was uh, what we were thinking. So, um, and out in the fjord they have had, had um, uh, 16 uh, two winter fish. Yeah. So, um, at the research days. station, right? Yeah, yeah. But still, if they are bigger than that, we yeah. that's okay. So what do we? What can we uh, speculate around this? Is that that we might have even more three winter fish next year, uh, and uh, some more two winter fish this uh, later on this season? What do you think? That's what we believe. Yeah. Um, it should be like that, but still, uh, yeah, we don't know. It's early in the season, so we just have to see. But, but do you agree with me, Knut? We need to get the fish farming industry into close containments to save this river. Yes, that we do. And we need to yeah, get more regulation on fish farm and all the, others, uh, all the other um, stuff that makes uh, it hard to be a salmon. Yeah. Yeah, but fish farming is the biggest problem. I'm personally very convinced that uh, if we uh, can get the the salmon into salmon farming into close containments in this very narrow, long um, fjord, that will make uh, the big difference. Of course, the fjord is uh, is narrow, still water uh, and long, so it will help. Yeah. So, I wish you a great summer on the fantastic river and thank you Knut for taking us here again. Thank you for coming, it's yeah. always a pleasure. Uh, it's our pleasure. <laughs> thank you Knut. Thank you. It's the black green helmet on a TTT and an 850 grain Deepwater Express. And this was a strong, strong, strong fighter. You can see a big pie, maybe 15 centimeters. Male. And we'll see how long he is. It's good with the measuring tape, you can see immediately this fish is 100, one meter long. really broad and nice and really wants to go okay so I think this is ready to go back and make sure our bowl style uh, and the unique genes of this big fish will, will continue for future generations okay here we go thank you the best in life. <laughs> the best thing in life. <laughs> Salmon on the fly. I love this river. I hope we can save it. We must save it. And I hope I can come back here for those opening days for many, many years, as long as I possibly can. It's one of the highlights of my year.
If you want to see a bit more from Volsta, of course we will give you more films in the future, but you can also check out our older films, How to Fight the Big Fish and the Big River Tactics films. They are on our YouTube and they are all filmed in Volsta.